Space Force will not be the military branch that repels an alien invasion, according to what officials are te telling us. We should listen up then. Uh, the conspiracy theorists, schizophrenics, other beloved readers, some of you out there might have been wondering if Space Force will fight aliens, yet only a fool would pose such a question to senior defense officials. Thankfully, your friends and humble Pentagon correspondent is that fool, he says. During a round table recently, this reporter asked if Space Force is concerned about threats posed by extraterrestrial intelligence, and the official answer is no. A December 2018 Defense Intelligence Agency report warns that potential adversaries are developing and proliferating a variety of weapons that could disrupt or deny civil and military space services, but the report does not mention xenoforms, bugs, or cylons, the reporter said. Now it's up to Congress to decide whether to approve standing up Space Force as a sixth military service. The last time lawmakers approved the creation of a new military branch was when the Air Force became its own service in 1947. We want people to be recruited into the Space Force similar to the way the Marine Corps recruits Marines. One senior defense official said they don't recruit them into the Navy. They actually go after the specific people with the vision that is necessary to build that culture. It has yet to be decided if Space Force will have its own boot camp, official said. However, ideal Space Force personnel would be able to apply science, technology, engineering, and math skills to war fighting. Apparently in space, no one eats crayons. Now, as currently envisioned, Space Force would fall under the Department of Air Force. The service would ultimately have about 15,000 service members and civilians, most of whom would likely be transferred from other services, defense officials said. The Pentagon estimates that the Space Force will cost $2 billion over five years. The Space Force will develop forces for space situational awareness, satellite operations and global integrated command and control of military space forces, global and theater military space operations to enable joint campaigns, to include missile warning, space support to land, air, naval and cyber forces, space lift and space range operations, space-based nuclear detonation detection, and prompt and sustained offensive and defense space operations to achieve space superiority according to a strategic overview of the proposed service. Acting Defense Secretary has already said that Space Force would not include rifle squads to seek out and destroy new life forms. One unresolved question is whether Space Force will have its own uniform, like other military branches. Senior defense official said they can, but he was unable to say what the Space Force uniforms might look like. He said that's an important detail to be worked out in the future. And this is on Solask. Please leave your comments about this, and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.